Hi, welcome to uh, Urban Green Survival and this is my second design of my uh, hanging bottle garden farm. Uh, this one is going to be in a, um, a frame so it can free stand and be moved around. Anyway, I'll quickly just run through the uh, cutting the bottles again. Start off, you're going to need 27 plastic 600ml water bottles. Uh, fill them up with water. Put them in the freezer overnight and make sure the label faces up so the air bubble is this side. Um, next day, when they're frozen, nice and hot, uh, you'll need to use your two and a quarter drill bit or whatever size you have. And on the back, uh, drill a hole approximately about that end on the bottom, um, roughly there. That's going to be where your plant's going to grow. Uh, the other hole you'll need to do is a one inch piece there and you need to cut out the uh, bottom there. Um, basically the one inch is exactly the same size as the neck of the bottle. Uh, that's why I use that one. So it's quite important that you match up the width of your neck of your bottle with your drill piece. In this case I use a one inch. And um, so this is your finished, uh, your finished product. You've got your nice clean hole cut in the bottom there um, where it's going to join to your next bottle and then your cutout media there. It's actually going to be this way up. Uh, next stage is a piece of cardboard sleeve. Um, just slide it over the top there. I normally go to just about where the label is. Um, I paint over the label. Some of them are so difficult to peel off that it's just not worth messing with. I paint right over it. Give yourself a nice matte black paint and then just spray that end of your, uh, of your plastic bottle. Um, this is the result. You end up with a nice matte back painted. Um, reason we do this is because um, your growing media is in this end and the roots of the plant, you don't want loads of light hitting them. So this will help protect uh, somewhat of the light penetrating the roots of the plant. Um, in this scenario here, I've set this one up. I've joined three bottles together. Um, first step we do is you're going to need pieces of sponge, stick that in each um, each bottle and then um, using, I use a gutter silicon, uh, put a bead of silicon right around there and then basically all you do is just push it and twist it in and you'll find with the thread of the bottle it, it just more or less pull itself in and falls into place. Line it up, then using the cap I drill a couple of small holes, one there and one there with about a 3mm drill bit and from inside this one you will tighten up on the lid of, of that one and basically what that does is that locks that solid on there with the silicon seal in it and this lid screwed on from the inside it holds it really firm. The reason the sponge is in there it acts as a, a filter from the growing medium to stop it falling through. It also slows the rate of the uh, flow of water from bottle to bottle. So basically, um, go ahead, join three bottles. And um, in, my, in my case here, I've done nine rows of three, which is your 27 bottles. Um, and that's, that's basically it. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. Uh, if you look at my other video of the hanging bottle garden, it's a more detailed, um, uh, explanation how to make these bottles with the hole. Um, next bit from there is the plumbing. Now ideally I wanted to use the one inch or 19 mil plumbing but the problem is um, you can't get this close enough to get the bottles really close and uh, so you end up wasting. Um, you would only get seven bottles across on the frame rather than the nine that I've got there. So as much as that would have been my uh, my choice, um, I've opted for the 13 mil uh, fittings, which is uh, half inch. Um, basically, you're going to need T pieces and corner piece and uh, saddles brackets and these are very handy. The 13 mil to 19 mil reducer. And I'll show you why that's really good in a second. And the other thing you'll need is these end caps. I'll put the, um, the how many of each of these you're going to need on a sheet on, on the video at the end. 
Um, but basically, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, cut a load of pieces of pipe, um, just pushes on onto there. So you're joining, you start off with your end piece and your upright, your T piece, and so on. Obviously, each bottle is going to sit on there. Uh, one tip I give you is have a nice hot bowl of water so that you can soak this pipe in before you fit it on. It makes it a lot easier. Now, these reducers, uh, I've come up with a great little solution. Um, small piece of pipe right there. Um, stick your reducer on there like that. And then a piece of 19 mil or one inch pipe slides onto that. I'm not going to push them all the way down because it's very difficult to get off. But the reason I did that is because that slides perfectly inside to that neck of the bottle and you don't need to seal it. Um, it's so tight a fit that in that neck of that bottle that you really don't need any silicon and uh, you don't get any leaks either. So basically you can see my setup there from the bottle, the 19 mil pipe pushes inside, um, slides onto the reducer, onto another piece of pipe and onto your T-piece. And then in between each T-piece you're going to connect with another small piece of pipe. Um, all held in place with these um, saddle brackets uh, which obviously are just hold on there. I found on the bottom you just need a couple but on the top you're going to need about eight along the top because um, that, that's where you're going to hang your bottles from. And uh, basically to hang the bottles I'm just using uh, plastic cable ties drilled a couple of holes in the bottle and tying it to the top of the piping to hold it. But um, I'll show you more in detail uh, on, the, on the next stage, but uh, oh, also a tip, um, like in your bottles where you're putting your sponge in each piece, you don't need to do it on your bottom row, but you will need to put sponge in each piece of, um, of the reducer like that um, before it's inserted in. Um, same with on the top, um, place uh, a piece of sponge in that pipe before you stick your reducer in. Uh, again, what that does is act, act as a filter and um, slows the rate of the water. Uh, one of the things I've done is about a one mil drill piece on the, these end spaces. Um, my water feed, I'm just going to get this down and show you. Okay. Okay, so this is this is my frame. You, once you've got all your bottles together, your frames will. Um, you can measure out your frame to the size of your bottles. Uh, one of the mistakes that I've made here is I really wanted um, this one to be higher up and this one lower down. When I measured it, I didn't allow for the fact that I was going to put this reducer in here, so I lost that extra. Um, couple of inches which means they're nearly all level and I actually wanted them one off centre so that you were staggered on your growing. Um, again I show a diagram but like what I've done up here is using this on the first one I've just put one hole, this one I've put two drill holes, this one three, this one four, five, 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 five and the reason I did that is when you pour the water in instead of it all just gushing out this first and second one because this is only one hole it distributes the water further across uh, this one's already leaking through by the time the water gets up there and that's why you need five holes on these ones and then reduce it down to just one, two, three and uh, so far I've found that to be very very effective now also you could fill this with vermiclite and treat it like your um, uh, permaculture uh, permaculture your um, hydroponic system and um, you could have a feeder bottle up here and a collection bottle down here and feed it the same as you would the hanging garden I'm actually going to use this in aquaponics so I'm going to fill it with clay pebbles and I'm going to feed it into my aquaponics tank okay you can see I've uh, mounted it in the frame here and um, what I've done along the top here I've drilled um, a hole in the front and back, just a very small one, and pushed a cable tie right the way through, and then I've collected it to the um, top of the plumbing along the top there. And that's why it's important that you use a lot of um, brackets along the top on your plumbing to take the weight. 